four ultimates cast by allies. We have flame waves that attack. I mean, so like... The, these, this hero group is insane. I actually kind of like this one too. I like the ones that let my characters ult more frequently or like reward us for ulting more frequently. If you're going to at least periodically watch the videos, you should subscribe. But if you have no intention of ever watching a video on that channel, you should not subscribe just to make the number go up. Actually, it actually hurts YouTube channels if you're never clicking on anything. Obviously, I don't expect human beings to click on absolutely everything, but if you're like, I'm just gonna help Jeff's number go up, don't do that. But 100% if you're gonna watch them at least sometimes. Click the button. Okay, I think I like this one. Vala and Rowan are so good, and Granny. Granny's such a solid frontliner. This is, not, wait, not only is this artifact okay, I think, but this is just a good starting mix of characters. I usually like a secondary healer slash support with Rowan, Corin or Lucius or Lucius is kind of bad with Vala. Lucius, Lucius or Henwen would be nice. I think I want to reroll looking for a light bearer or a nature group of three. Also wouldn't mind finding a thing that helps uh, Rowan ult faster. This is unfortunate. All right, cool. Those are solid pickups here though Hon honestly with vala here i might i might just play four sustains in vala <laughs> Maybe we'll try that for the first roll just like not play ariana will play these two these two and her so we'll see what our first opponent what their artifact looks like and maybe we can decide You start on PC, immutable and hurt your Yeah, you, unfortunately, if you want to help me out uh, with my promo, you need to get all the way to 40 on PC. And then obviously your account port so you can play wherever after, but in order for it to register on my tracker, it needs to, uh... So this is an interesting one. This reduces enemy zero's current HP by 50% when the battle starts and then slowly returns it. So I'm actually going me, to... Joker take my characters Potions and just deploy Fight them all in the back. I think is my plan. Just further back so that way they have to run, get a little bit of a run up towards me so I get some healing back before that actually hits. Uh, are you calling me? What kind of treasure awaits us today? Don't worry, your delivery's coming up. All right, Bella claimed her first victim. Our healer alt hit. Bella jumping into their guy about to spin it away, but it looks like we're gonna clean him out here. Delay. So Granny, Granny went down in the front, but she did her job. She bought time for everybody else. Another victory to my name. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I might be undervaluing the the three randoms. I think Tamisa might be better than Granny. Her and her and Vala together could do a lot of damage. I like I like I I kind of want her like Corin or her as a secondary like tanky unit, a tanky that could be a secondary damage dealer if that makes sense. Beast Claw is lovely on Vala, and then wow, hitting uh hitting the purple equipment early is solid here. This one's really good. Gives you a shield and then pulls pulls taunts. And we'll pin Damien here.
aerial composition, which means we definitely want to wait to deploy Vala and having Charge her up front. For the will be potions lovely. for sale. Bye. Uh, are you calling me? And then we'll want to have Damien to deploy in the back to pull aggro, then our Vala will hopefully go into their aerial. Yeah, there's there's no timer. You can play this game fully I asynchronously. You can even take a break in the middle of it and come back later and finish. Check there's out no, there's no, no rush. Oh no, our valent target moved to Smokey. That's not ideal. Means our Muriel's gonna get to alt, which is uh, scary for us. Don't worry, your delivery's coming up. Oh. Okay, well we killed Smokey. That's nice. Their their Muriel's down. Can, can our hen win alt before she dies? Our ball is down, but our uh, Tamisa should be able to finish her, I think. Maybe, I've got big shields. I, I would not be surprised if the comp that we're playing, especially in games like this where Vala dies, we end up drawing. Ooh, our artifact is punching through here. No, we're good, we're good. Yeah, the only, the only part that's timed the about this is there's the one minute timer when you're both deploying units during the thing. This is also, so I'm someone for people that are newer to the channel. I have three small children. I have a, a 10 year old, an eight year old, and a three year old who came in to show me her new boots a little bit ago. So like I can play this off stream because if I need to just like put it down and walk away, I'm only ever locked in for two minutes at a time when I'm deploying my units. And then otherwise I could like, okay, I'm gonna bounce and then come back later. I think there's probably too many, I think there's probably too many wilder units that I'm just not interested in that I don't even wanna pin and keep this. So I think I'm just buying the two that we have and then running, running into our next match here. Yeah, if you're a subscriber who ends up enjoying the game too, we've got a super active AFK journey thread under Gaming General in the Subs Discord server. Randoms, who's ranked number one in our server, is in there as well. They're a Hoaglandian. There's some people, a lot of people chatting about this game mode. He's fun. Charge break. Potions for sale. Buy Potions four, get one. Check sale. out my latest invention. Do spare coins carry over? Between drafts? No. Between rounds? Yes. Um, I kind of wish I would have deployed Granny instead of her. What kind of treasure waits us today? I don't want Vala to target her. Hopefully they deploy something else that Vala's going to target, because Vala targeting Igor would be a disaster. Oh, and they... Yeah. Uh, they're about to get skunked. Every time I have a good run, I feel like I get put down by a group of great porn. It's not, not close. My Vala, my Vala getting, I should wait to deploy Damien and start putting, I should start putting my Damien near my Vala to catch his acid aggro is something I should be doing. There's 160 energy every three seconds for the frontmost allied hero. No, I want light bearer heroes. Yeah, that's great. And this is Rwan's best item. Gives him a free alt, which lets everybody else alt, and our item is based around alting. I don't think I want Granny. I guess there's a world where. I draft this granny, and then sometimes we play granny over Damien. I could see that being the case. Or even we play granny over Hedwin sometimes. This, 
this was the artifact that made me think epic equipment was purple. Because it's weird to me that this is an epic equipment. That this is an equipment that doesn't apply to itself, right? That was strange. I'd say thread under gaming general. So click into gaming general and then click on the threads part. No, epic's not purple. We learned that earlier. I was operating under the assumption that it was purple, but apparently that's very wrong. Oh, not having any upgraded heroes yet is kind of an oof. We might take another L here to not having any upgraded heroes. Uh, the uh, yellow ones, the big ones, the 40 cost ones are epics, according to Google and someone else that was in chat earlier. I couldn't find an official source, but the people on Reddit seemed pretty sure. Now, why would Reddit lie to me, Chip? Charge bravely for the divine light. They are a Marley comp. So if they deploy her, we're going to want Vala to hunt her down. Potions for sale. Buy four. Potions for sale. Are you calling me? What kind of treasure awaits us today? Check out my latest invention. Alright, we're targeting their barley with Bala here, so that's good for us. It's not down yet, though. Penwin hitting the heel before Tamisia went down was close, but not enough, apparently. Okay, their Marley is down. Vala is on to another mage of the target here. Oh, there. Vala is so good when she jumps, chat. There's a mage down. Healer hits and picks Vala back up. All of their squishier characters are dead, which means this is harder for Vala. I think opposing Tamisa is one of the better card characters they could have into Vala. And she's a damage dealer that's also tanky. We're gonna be good. Yeah, okay, cool. What are diamond used for? They're basically purely used for recruiting. The one thing to keep in mind is Vala's banner that you currently spent diamonds on is gonna rotate to a different character's banner in the future. Well, I, I want Fallen Dagger for my Vala. I would just like her to alt constantly. Please and thank you. What does Damien's ultimate do? Is having Damien ult for free at the start good? I don't think I don't think having Henwin ult to start is very good. Hey resource, are you using Pride Win as a reference as a wiki page? I, I actually think... Uh, oh, yeah, there's a drop-down in the description. Attack. He built a Tritariot. Inherits 85% of HP and 100% of other stats to take his place. Stays out there. If there's a Charge Chariot, Dara makes the Chariot charge and explode. If there's no other Tritariot, he builds a new one and moves to the target location. That could have been okay. I actually like Exquisite Letter for Henwin better than I like the free alt one. Because I think getting her to her first alt faster is good better than having it for free at the start because you want um, your characters to take some damage before she pops her healing ult. Stop playing greedy. I want upgrades on something else. I, I guess I could draft Granny and then deploy Granny instead of Tamisa, but I have a bonus for my light barrier. So I'm going to be greedy and roll here. I guess I can pit it since we rolled another one. Oh my god. Go away, Granny. Want an upgrade for someone else, Granny? <sighs> I feel like I need a legendary to keep up this many games in. I guess I could grab her and deploy her over Damien. Is probably realistic. And then keep that one. Let's do, let's do that for now.
I rolled past poor Sir. I probably did, didn't I? She just started picking up the ones that were for my characters. Shoot rocks. Sure. Get behind me, children. Potions for sale. Uh, are you calling me? And then, uh, Tamisia can charge over... Huh? What kind of treasure awaits us today? Do I just deploy Damien now and have a third wilder hero into their grave board? Charge it's close. Bravely her pull, her pulling aggro is good. It might, it might honestly be right to just you forego my, my character that is the item on it here. Their assassin targeting this instead of Vala is Don't huge. Worry. Your delivery's coming up. Yep, there's Henwin hitting her all on time. Granny's really good in the great board, which is nice. Okay, there's Vala's first KO. Oh, is Henwin gonna go down though? If Henwin goes down, we can be in some trouble here. Gerwan is not a lot of sustain. I think there's a chance he can solo our last three here. We really, really need to KO this thing in the back. Igor, Igor is just such a fool here. He's just the best character by a lot. Oh my god, they got him! Alright, cool. Yeah, I think Tavisia is one of the better light bearer characters. She might, she might honestly be the second best after Vala. I think I'm just rolling for upgrades. I don't think this is good enough on anybody that we have. That we've already got. It's a Demian upgrade, our first Vala. She's insanely squishy when I use her. I mean, are you putting defensive items on her? Your, ta your tanks often make or break based on their equipment. more upgrade for either of these would be nice. I'm gonna pin this one to see if we can roll an upgrade. Uh, unlucky. Maybe I should have pinned him here too. We have Damien now. Granny was really good that set. I think the big thing Tamisia does for this composition that we have is I don't have a second damage dealer past uh, Vala, really. So Tamisia providing another one of those is good. This tags my things in the back. Honestly, I think that means I want Damien. Potions for sale. Buy four, get one free. Holy crap, they have a mythic what tree. Kind of treasure awaits us today. Let her Check out on that, I suppose. Latest invention. Our our Vala is still only being epic. Egg, we're about to get torched here. Their their artifact is one of the better artifacts. And uh, them having mythics and me not having a. Uh, Ooh! Ooh! Our comp just cracked yet? Maybe our comp just cracked. We do we do have good items on our characters, maybe? Maybe? <laughs> I love this animation. Val well Val is dead. Oh, I think we might be good here. We don't we don't have a character that can chase down their Vala though. 
Leo! Alright, well that was sick. I was not expecting to win that one. But I'm having a bit to go. Are we five and one now? We are. It's been a solid run. It's not an item we were interested in. We are all about the long run. One off of an upgrade on him. Damien. I'm gonna pin Damien at this point and see if I can spin for the mythic on him, I think. Those boots are really good. I think, I think those are ideal boots on. Henwin. Okay, and actually, you know what? I'm gonna sell this guy that I'm never gonna play, and I'm just gonna buy these, leave this pinned, and we'll grab that next turn. We'll buy, we'll buy this next turn. And then we'll put boots on her and we can kick her item over to you, Damien. Are they not good on Damien? I just want Henwin to heal alt constantly to keep Val alive. Although I guess she hasn't been upgraded yet. I, I really need an upgrade for our damage dealers. They are playing a get lots of alts build. Get behind potions for sale. Check out my latest invention. Uh, are you calling me? What kind of treasure awaits us today? Charge bravely for the divine light. I definitely want my light bearers into their baller, I think. Hey! Hold it right there! We might not have enough damage into this comp here. When there's Sika ults in the back here, we're gonna be in trouble, I think. Yeah. Yeah, like our lack of upgrades on Vala, we really felt this run through. Maybe, maybe Tavisa can carry, but she also doesn't have any upgrades. I mean, I'm gonna need to roll for upgrades on her and Vala really hard. Unfortunately, I think uh, we're too long out to be able to. Be able to stall this one out, even with our Tinkies. Maybe they're spread out enough that they could. Though. See, our team doesn't. I'm actually surprised we haven't had a draw yet. Our team has a lot of sustain. I mean, I've definitely had runs where I had like three or four draws over the course of it. Oh, can Hen win all tier? She did, yep. Alright, 27 seconds. I think my record is I hit 18 or 19 games played in a 9 win run one time. If Edwin could ult one more time here, we might be good, but she might not surround that long. Let's see. Oh my gosh! I think we hit it. <laughs> I think we, uh... Yep. We, we, we really need upgrades for our damage dealers. <laughs> And you don't you don't win or lose anything there. Get behind me, children. Potions for sale. Buy four. Uh, are you calling me? 
you gain in the game from playing this. You get a nominal amount of rewards for the first 15 wins that you get in a week, but it's largely just uh, you make a number go up on... Well, there are a bunch of maulers. Charge bravely! Nice. What kind of treasure awaits us today? It's largely it's largely just a leaderboard make a number grow up game mode. It's not one you can like constantly grind. I'm playing it for fun, like some kind of casual. There is an extra event going on for this game mode right now where you can get a character skin for playing it. Alright, Vala didn't didn't get killed and she took her first victim, so this looks like a win. Still Did they have arrogance solid. on one of their characters? That looked like one character died and then the round ended. So Vala, finally. Beautiful. As a mauler, the equivalent of... Uh, a mauler is a type of character. So there's, there's four different types. There's uh, light bearers, natures, maulers, and grave borns. Okay, so now we're hoping to hit uh, Rowan or a Damien in our next three rolls here. Later, we got one more shot here. Oh, yeah. We get a Vala pin for later, too. Okay, so I think we bench Granny to play Damien on Mythic tier. Yeah, understanding which characters do what is huge for this mode, deploying at the beginning is huge, like understanding which characters you don't want to get tagged by assassins, so you wait to deploy them, knowing you're supposed to be holding your assassins. That's a big, a big dynamic. But like I started winning a lot more and I realized which, which are the types of characters you're supposed to be deploying first and where. There's two mythic heroes. Okay, so they probably don't have a ton of those yet. It's not too big of a deal. Charge we'll start her up front so she can light. charge in. Uh, are you calling me? Check out my latest also, invention. Also, I put Damien's cart up front too, I think. Uh, are you calling me? Uh, actually, I probably want Damien's cart over here so it could be a little tanky for us. So they put their Vala down to start. What kind of treasure awaits us? I can today? I can put mine here to target theirs, which is great. And Potions then we'll put for sale. Buy four, this get one free. Oh, they put their their defensive unit behind Spark. Oh, can Tamaria live? Tamaria live. Juan is ulting again. Okay, Vala. Our, our Vala targeting their tank is a huge, huge awkward for us. Their Vala is targeting our Ruan, who's so far staying alive. Tamaria is down. Our Vala's down. I think we're, I think we're torched. There's no going to time against their, uh, their ball up. Maybe I shouldn't have put Tamisa out and I should have played Granny because she's legendary or Tamisa not being upgraded yet is kind of a big deal at this point. Hopefully we can roll one on her. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, I think, I think maybe I should have put Speedy Codex is pretty good for Vala, but I kind of like her having more ults with my, uh, my thing rewarding us for ults. Heals the weakest ally every five seconds for 50% of the total amount of healing and shielding done over the last little bit. That's pretty good. 
We have a, we have a lot of healing. Am I putting that on Granny? Actually, I think I'm gonna put it on him, and then I'm gonna put this armor on Granny if Tamiria is not gonna be upgraded. Tamisa. Oh my gosh, there's the headwind upgrade too. Out of 30 though, and I can't I can only sell for two. The second, the second 30 roll. All right. This is also typically a sustained comp. Get behind me, so, so there's a good Make chance we're about to drop. Potions for sale. <laughs> Buy four, get one free. What kind of treasure awaits us today? Um, are you calling me? Good chance this one's gonna drop. Sika is less good in this game mode when people know how to use assassins. I think it's not assassins. They have a lot of damage actually. Usually, usually the artifact that the opponent's playing is more uh, more tanky. Healers. Okay, Maybe we're not drawn. We're looking good. We have one of those things in the back line. Giving us a burst when we ult and watch this nice. So for a supplement to your damage completely here. That's actually great. I was expecting them to have way more sustain than they did. I'm they came out of the gates with a lot of damage. Solid. I think their artifact usually wants them to have more sustain than they had. Alright, let's see if we can roll a couple of alas here, huh? I was just saying, I think we're all in on waiting for Vela's, uh, but we got there. Cool. Do I want a second pair? Is, is haste boots better than the instant alt on Rowan? I'm gonna, I'm gonna pin these. I think there's a ch I think there's a chance haste boots is better than the instant ult on Ron. I think I think we're tanky enough that we survive for him to get there naturally because long term as the game goes on that's significantly better as it goes longer. What is haste? Do? It just makes your character do everything faster, so it makes him quicker in the exchange of him not dealing damage, and he makes everybody else alt with his with his alt. Big zoom zoom beep beep. Zoom zoom zoom. Yeah, zoom zoom zoom. This map kind of sucks though. This is they don't alt, but they all hit extra hard. Okay. Check out my latest invention. Potions for sale. Buy from. Are you calling me? This is, I, I, I don't know a single person in chat who's like, this, I love this map, please Get let me play more of it. Children. It's always, every time this map comes up, everybody's like, God, this map is the bane of my existence and I hate it. <laughs> Which, maybe if everybody hates it, it's fine. I really don't want her to target Damien. I want her to target one of these. I 
I think just the fact that there's multiple maps in this game mode is great, though. It will, uh, it'll be making, like, add more as the, as the game has seasons and stuff. Alright, well, we survived. The whole team survived to Rwanda's first one, which I think is really good for us. People pick it for arena defense. Oh, do you pick your arena defense map? I thought your arena defense was random. I didn't realize you get to pick the one that you play on. I thought you had to set it for all of them. Another victory to my I'm gonna have to uh, fix that then. We're eating, we're eating two, gamers. We're eating two. Holy. All right, let's see if we can roll three of these or four grannies. This is the last upgrade we're looking for, really. I guess there's technically a legendary weapon that's good for what's her name. This stacks, right? That would be insane if it stacked. Maybe it does stack. It is insane. But you, could, you might, you might be right. I, I'm gonna be honest. I haven't looked at that part super closely. It doesn't look like we're going to get our last mythic chat. Oh, this is the, this is Vala's weapon, yeah? So we'll just grab that as our last potential upgrade for this run. Did I miss a granny in there? It's fine. I think we're unlikely to get the full, the full reroll. If you're enjoying the vibes of the draft here today, I'd encourage you to check out my new YouTube channel, Hooklandia AFKJ. We're going to be drafting here a few times a week live on stream, and the best drafts will get cut and put up there after the fact. Appreciate the folks that have done that already. Graveborn heroes get 15% attack. Well, yikes. Good thing we're about to deploy a bunch of wild dorkos. Oh, are you calling me? Potions for sale! Check out Potions my latest invention! Get behind me, children! What kind of treasure awaits us today? Hey, you know what weapons are best for each character? You have to know what the character does. So learning learning the character pool so you know like what type of effects you're looking for is uh is a big deal. Graves on the worst map. I mean, the map is like bad for both sides technically, yeah? Vala getting caught on the right here is not great. Oh, wait, that might actually be the death knell. The fact that Val is going to the right. I probably shouldn't have put her on her own over there. I always mess up my positioning in my last game. It can get saved. Dude, she gets saved by healing? Oh my gosh, she got saved by healing. She might. Are we going to do it? Is this it, Chad? Is this finally our nine win game on stream? Against grave boards, no less. Woo! Three kills! I think we got him, gamers. I think we got him. Yeah, uh, Hedowin hit with her healing just in time. Just in time to save Vala. Vala almost went down there. Another victory to my <laughs> Two hundred and twenty K. 
12k. Boys? You made it to the end of the video. Tap that like button and make sure you're subscribed here to Hoaglandia AFK Journey. So I know there are people interested in checking out some more Honor Duel videos like this, maybe covering some other things about my latest RPG and auto battler addiction.